All right, real quick, just going over something here. This is a cool to have item, not a need to have. This is a 75 round Romanian drum. This is in new condition. Uh, this is for 762 by 39 millimeter AK 47 type variants, or uh, you know, more correctly called the AKM variants. As you can see, pretty simple construction, uh, but they are not really simple to load. It takes a while to load. They are heavy, and as far as a tactical uh, standpoint, they're pretty impractical. Uh, I view this more of, if we're looking at this from a defense type viewpoint, I view this as something that would be good for uh, static defense. What I mean by static defense is, let's imagine yourself in a zombie WROL, uh, you know, shit hit the fan, red dawn, invasion, situation, whatever. Uh, if you're holding a fort and you're doing perimeter security and you're not going to leave, uh, in other words, you're going to stand your ground, this would be something that could come in use. You could sit there 75 rounds at a pop, you run out, grab another 75 round drum, load her up and go to town. And you can continue to do so until you pretty much melt your AK, which will take a long, long time. Now, uh, again, it's not the most practical thing in the world, but it's just kind of one of those cool things that, you know, I like it. You can see, I mean, bottom line, it is heavy, but this AK-47 right here will, it's absolutely devastating. 75 rounds at your fingertip, actually 76 rounds if you put one in the chamber plus a full uh, drum mag. 76 rounds is, you know, not anything to laugh at in the least bit. Uh, one thing as far as handling goes, other than making the AK a lot heavier, uh, one plus from that is the recoil control is going to be a little bit better. Heavier rifle, it's not going to rise as much, especially when you couple it with a good muzzle brake. Uh, it's going to be a very controllable rifle to handle. The, um, if you're a fan of holding the AK-47 by the magazine, like a lot of people are, I am, you can't really do so easily with this magazine, so you have to hold it by the handguard. There's really no issues with charging the rifle. As you can see, I can still charge underhanded like a lot of people like to do. Uh, I'm a big fan of underhanding charging, as you can tell from my other videos. Uh, storage, they have pouches for them, but again, they're just impractical. As you can see, something like this would take up a lot of space on a vest. So, you know, again, it's one of those, I don't consider it practical, but I consider it one of those neat to have items. Uh, so I'll go ahead and stop my uh, rambling on about it. If you guys have any real world experience with these, uh, keep in mind quality varies, so try to get new condition. There's some older ones out there that are being sold at a cheaper price. These in new condition run right around the 80-ish dollar range, depending on where you're at. Um, you know, you could probably get them cheaper, they'll be used up, and you know, a word of caution, the used ones might not work effectively. So I'll go ahead and stop the video. Feel free to leave any uh, questions or comments. Thanks for watching.